Hello, little folks. I suppose you've heard about the boy who climbed so high, so high on his beanstalk, which was magic, that he almost reached the sky. I wonder if you'd like to hear about the beanstalk and Jack and the cow. The name of my story I know you have guessed, so I'll sing it to you now. This is the story of little Jack and Blacky the cow that he stole of the beanstalk that grew from the magic beans and the giant who lost all his gold when Jack up the tall magic beanstalk climbed and reached the castle there and how the giant's kindly wife said little Jack beware Beware, poor oh, little Jack, beware. And hit Jack in a teapot when the giant came home to be fed. He sniffed and sniffed and sniffed again. And this is what he said. Fee, ho, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones for to make my bread. Fee, fi, ho, hum. I am here because I've come. Tonight I'm going to have a treat. A little boy I shall surely eat. Then the giant's wife, he said, Ten whole loaves of bread And three oxen I've prepared You eat those instead So the giant ate them all Then he fell asleep Jack crept up and took his gold And every piece did eat when the giant followed Jack, he fell and broke his crown. For Jack got to the bottom first and chopped the beanstalk down. When the giant followed Jack, he fell and broke his crown. For Jack got to the bottom first and chop the beanstalk down. There were three friendly bears who all lived in a house just as happy as they could be. The great gruff bear, and the middle-sized bear, and the wee little small bear three. A wee little pot, and a wee little chair, and a wee little bed had the wee little bear. A middle-sized pot, and a middle-sized chair, and a middle-sized bed had the middle-sized bear. A great huge pot and a great huge chair and a great huge bed had the great huge bear. One morning the bears went out for a walk because their porridge was too hot. And while they were gone in walked Goldilocks and tasted the porridge in each pot. Then Goldilocks tried every chair and bed And when the bears came home, this is what they said In his great gruff voice said the great gruff bear Somebody has been sitting in my chair In his middle-sized voice said the middle-sized bear why, somebody has been sitting in my chair. In his wee little voice, said the wee little bear, 
why someone has gone through the bottom of my chair, I declare. In his great gruff voice, said the great gruff bear, somebody has been lying in my bed. In his middle-sized voice, the middle bear said, why somebody has been lying in my bed. But the wee little bear shouted, I do declare. Someone is lying in my bed right there. Little Goldilocks wait when she heard that bear shout. Someone is lying in my bed right there. She jumped out of bed in a terrible fright. Leaped through the window, vanished from sight.